Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in to VGAPR Garage. Today we're going to be working on a 2004 Taurus. It's a Taurus, I said it before I got to the symbol, but it's a Ford Taurus. It's an SE, not that that really means much. So what we're going to be replacing is this torn, um, actually we're going to replace the whole CV shaft because it's easier than just replacing the boot when it comes to labor time. But the issue is the boot's torn. And people can say just replace the boot, but it, the, what the price, if you order, it's like 35 bucks. It's like 50 bucks if you go to a store. It's just easier, uh, you have to take the whole shaft out anyways. Um, it's just easier just to uh, take the whole shaft out. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, after a quick stop to advance, because I needed to buy a 30 millimeter socket, we can continue if I can get not if I can get the thing out of the, the plastic holder out of the top of the, the socket then we can continue or I can just rip it off and push it out okay so let's continue now I've got some penetrant let's try getting this in it doesn't oh, come on also, this is going to be cut. All right. So, anyways, having some issue getting this socket on my impact gun, but let's go ahead and spray some penetrant. Now, for some reason, my impact gun doesn't want to receive this, so I'm just going to push the tab down with my finger. All right, we're on reverse. Let's see. If That's never a good sign. So, our next option. <laughs> if we could get, ah, uh, this is not good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a breaker bar and break it free, or hope to break it free. There we go. Now we take the impact. Now we care. There, it's off. Now we want to make sure that. It moves, but the CV shaft moves in the shaft because if it doesn't, it means we can't get it out. And there is a washer on there. You don't want to lose that washer. And uh, get in there, pull it out. Oh, wait a second. Let's see if the shaft even moves. There we go, the shaft moves, so we're in luck. Go ahead and turn this light on. Go ahead and. I think I have a magnet somewhere. It's just. I do have a magnet. Perfect. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and get that off. Come on, there we go. Put stuff in the magnetic bin. So now, what I need to do is turn the wheel, but set. Or also, what we need to do is. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta get to turn the wheel. So we get better access, we're gonna turn the wheel towards us. Or turn it out. There we go. Now, <sighs> moving you guys around before I'm actually stopping. Whatever. Okay, so there's going to be a cotter pin down here and a ball joint. Let's get some of my good pliers. Right. Funny thing is, is ball joint looks practically brand new, which should make this whole job easier. So I know that I'm not giving you the best view because you're actually getting the back of my head, but there's a cotter pin, bend it straight, you push it out. Pushed it out. Let me get any sockets. 
And then, since it's new, I'm gonna put it back in the parts bin. If it wasn't new, I wouldn't be using it. Now I wanna get a socket to fit it. First try, look at that. And we're looking at a, uh, it's a number, 13 sixteenths. That's gonna be the one. Got it on reverse. And it's out. Tidia! Tidia, And it's kind of stuck in there. It's not really what I want to deal with. I'm actually kind of in a hurry. This is, this is gross. This is right. it's gross. Okay. There we go. So now, in theory, I wonder, you know what? I actually think I'm also going to take. Can you guys see? Let's get you a little bit of a, and then let's focus you in. There we go, it's a better focus. I actually think I'm gonna take the, the tie rod end off as well, just to make the job a little bit easier on me today. And everything's just been going easy so far, so. Cotter pin, let's go ahead and grab it. Come on out. <sighs> Come on. So <sighs> is the the little things that hold you up. All right, so there's the problem. Cutter pins are misaligned in the back. Now, luckily I bought a cutter pin set. I destroyed this one, in theory. Come on out. I actually may just cut it, this is your redonkulous. These don't have cutters on them. So I need cutters. I don't think I actually have cutters, to be honest with you. I don't think I do. I don't believe I have cutters. And I see you guys get to watch me struggle taking this cotter pin out. Ugh. Ugh, gosh darn it. I don't want to be struggling. I want this to be going quickly. There we go. It's fine that it broke. Okay, so anyways, it's a cotter pin. You guys kind of get the point. I'm gonna take it out. Okay, new 238's Impact by Milwaukee. How could I say no to a sale at Home Depot? What's this? Oh, it's on the lowest setting. I should fix it now. Ta-da! Ah, I didn't get it. I was a little premature there, wasn't I? There we go. It's out. So you wanna, I'm gonna put the, you actually, you wanna knock what it goes through, right here. That's not good. You should hear a change in sound. Or you do this. You take the castle nut. Thread on so it's flush. Give the threads. Right there and hammer up.
There we go. Now, with the impact to get it off. Come on, get on it. There we go. So, tap it just a little bit. That's up into the side. Now we have more full steering. Let's see what you guys can see. You guys can still see. That's good. Magnetic. Magnetic. All right. So then we still have the ball joint that's got to come out, and that one is um we can't hit through it because it's um what is it called? It's stamped steel, so I'm just going to put the gun on the end and hammer up. Not doing shit. Makes me wish I had an impact. This whole thing a lot easier. Or the, a, a, one of those guns. Alright, right, I'm gonna do a trick. I'll be right back. Alright, so my co worker Jerry taught me this one. So, what I'm doing is taking the jack and putting it on the ball joint to apply pressure upward pressure when I hammer on it. It's not that easy. <laughs> this is kind of frustrating. See if it worked. I hope it did. I really want to be done with this job. I don't think it did. Gosh darn it. Might have to pickle fork this bitch out. How difficult it's been. It has been very, very difficult. All right, so we're gonna pickle fork it. We're gonna pickle fork it carefully. I'm gonna have all day for this. Are you guys still recording? I hope you are. You are. So I'm gonna be careful to try not to destroy the, the ball joint. Oh, it's loose. It was loose the whole time. So, there we go. The whole time it was loose. So I'm just pushing down on the, the control arm. I may actually have to go get the pry bar to do this because I'm weak. I'm doing hours upon hours of landscaping. So, Got my crowbar. I'm gonna put my crowbar in the control arm. Work it down. That's being difficult. Like, God, this car. I remember thinking four Tauruses looked really nice. Now I don't like them. How much work this one's being. It's literally right there. Come on out. 
There we go. So, now, hopefully you guys are still recording. You are. So, CV shaft. I'm gonna push it out. Come on out. CV shaft is out of the the hub. And whoever routed the the brake lines routed them wrong. Well, they're actually holding me up. Yeah, someone really routed the brake line wrong. An idiot, obviously. It's there we go. Really stretching that that brake line. That's. Yeah, but as long as I can get the CV shaft out though, which not just sure I can with that brake line the way it is. So I'm actually gonna. That's what I think I'll do. I'll disconnect the brake line. There's a mount on the body. That's uh, what is this again? 11, which is a 10. That should relieve some tension. There we go. There we go. And then it looks like there's another 10 right there, and that might be the issue is. All right, so I gotta get a 10 millimeter wrench on the other side of that. I don't know what this person did. I'll be right back. There we go, we got it out. He got it out, we got it out, we got it out. There, we got it out. I don't know how much you can see, but whatever. All right, so now, we gotta get it out of the transmission. And I just want to move everything aside. And it's really, really buggered up. So, as you can see, then the shaft, <laughs> it's wrapped up. See the ring broke in it to keep it locked in, which sucks. So I'm going to take a pickle fork and see if I can... Oh, fucking A, I don't know how I'm going to be able to wedge up in there to get the goddamn thing out. It always sucks when they fell like this. Gosh darn it. Should be able to pickle right on that. Could use a pry bar too. Maybe what I should use as a pry bar instead of complaining. I think I got it. Hope I did. Uh, gotta get grease all over my grease all over my hands. Ew! Fucking a, that's gross. Ah, uh, that's that's gross. Not what I like is CV boot grease all over my hands. It's more like moving the transmission than anything. Can't can't really get a good purchase. Yep, there it is. I got it. I got over the ring. And now just gonna <laughs> at least I think I got it. 
There we go. Come on. Come on out. Ah. Ah, bloody Christ, that was not fun. And now it's dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. Put it back in. God, fucking gross. Okay. So now next what you want to do is make sure that your new parts are the same. Yeah, they look the same. So now with your new shaft, <laughs> shaft. Um, what you're going to want to do is feed it back in like so and move all this shit aside. You got to line the teeth up. It's all kind of hard because of the the um what are they, what are they called the um I'm gonna grab a towel the um stability bar links because if it was out of the way it would be it would be a lot easier but it's not so we're gonna tolerate I'm not in the mood they're the ones with zerk fittings I hate zerk fittings. They're the worst things in the world. Um, so there's grease all over them. There's also grease all over them from the the damaged CV shaft. Oh, it's hard getting it all lined up in there. Doesn't really want to cooperate. So I've got it started. I can feel that. All right. And it's on, that's simple. Even with all my complaining, that's simple. <laughs> now, how far are you guys? Let's uh, move you down a bit. I want you to see everything. Wouldn't be a good channel if I was cutting stuff out. So now, um, I'm just spraying penetrant down in the, in the hub. Normally I do like anti seize I just, I wasn't expecting this job today, so I'm kind of, I'm not kind of, I'm rushing through it. All right, so same thing on this side. You gotta get the, the teeth all lined up. And it's not that easy with the control arm acting up as the control arm is pushing up on everything and there we go so it's in now what I have to do now if you're doing this job along with me now what you have to do the fun part um, I'm gonna start the nut so that it doesn't come out CV shaft is definitely in. Now, we're going to, I know you can't see, not in the mood to move the camera, but if you're doing the job, you know you've gotta do this. I'm gonna push down on the control arm and get the ball joint back in place. You're gonna want to watch your fingers doing this as well. God damn it, it's like perfectly lined up. But the, the ball joint, there we go, got it in. All right, <laughs> All right. so there's that. Yippee yay I got it! Very happy that I got it. Now I'll take the the castle nut to the ball joint and uh, thread that on and it'll work its way 
it'll work its way. So there's all that. Don't like the sound that the strut is making. So anyways, half impact gun. Let's go ahead and go forward. Forward. Wait a minute, I need to make sure that you guys can still see. You're good, you guys can. Our time with that is oh take it off you know what I forgot the washer can't forget the washer there let's grab the washer washers on grab the nut Grabbing the nut, nut, the nut, the nut, grabbing the nut, the nut, the nut. I got the nut, and I grabbed it, and I got it. Put the nut on. Still got full battery, that's cool. And forward. Nope, that was still in reverse. Well, we want to go. <laughs> it's forward. So let's try this again. Forward. there we're on there guys we did it we made it so far all right tie rod end turn the wheel zippity doo da zippity yay and you guys can still see that right <laughs> that's awesome you guys can still see that all right um grab my impact gun to tighten the ball joint on the bottom or the cast on the bottom grab the wrong size so I think it's this size that fits this it is I don't know why it's being all finicky on me other uh, than the fact that it wants to <laughs> I just want everything to go together you know just go together easy right You wanna know why? I'm not paying attention, it's the wrong size. I gotta pay a little bit more attention. Um, gosh darn me, not wanting to really do this job. Okay, so it's a 17. It's a 17. And we gotta unforward. And what we want to do is we need to be able to put a uh, cotter pit in there. So I may have to go get a wrench. I'd like to not get one to put the cotter pit in. Yeah. All right, this is the this cotter pit will probably do it. Now I gotta go. So we're going to put it on the slowest setting, put the 17 mil on it, because all we want to do is turn it just a little, little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. And now we feed the cotter pin through. This actually cotter pin's not big enough. Um, let's try this one. It'll be a hefty cotter pin. Too big. Let's try this one. I like that this one a lot. It's right in the the bits of the castle. Not bring one side of the cotter pin to the side and, and you're good. And then the same thing for the bottom. Where's that one? It should be. I don't know why it's not this one, unless it's this one. Because I put one away on accident. On accident, I put one away on accident. I did, I did, I did. 
I have another battery for these M18s on order. Should be here next week. So it'll, that means I won't have to swap out the batteries and such. So anyways, got it on forward. I'm sure my head's in the way. Getting it on the castle nut down here. And it's on there. I'm gonna reuse the same cotter pin that came out. Perfect, got everything lined up. Head's in the way. Hope you guys liked it or liking my head. Hope I didn't miss any spots when I was cutting my hair. That'd be embarrassing. And then, last thing is, I know it's dark. Hopefully during editing I can fix it. Um, there's the 10 mil that has to go back to hold this uh, bracket up here that I took out. I'm going to actually put this, yeah, it's on a lower setting, I don't want to, there we go, and then what holds this brake thing in right here, it's just, it just doesn't, that might be the issue, it wasn't in the right spot. There was like, there's a little, uh, how do I describe it? Like a little, um, little peg for it to fit into, and it wasn't in that peg. But the thing is, is it almost seems like this whole thing is bent or something. Because it doesn't... really does not want to line up. And it should line up with the whole on the opposite side. Doesn't want to. So I guess we stop recording at some point. You're on camera to show off. So I'm just trying to get this back in here, but I think another part of the issue is This locking things in the wrong way, in the wrong place. <sighs> this locking tab might actually have to be on the bottom, not on the top. I'm not taking it out. I don't have the time or the, the energy to do that. So I'm actually just trying to, to bend it, bend the bracket back the way that it's supposed to be because it's not it's not the right way because it should literally just line up and it's definitely isn't that's very very frustrating for me when it's the last thing I have to do and it wants to act like a bitch Excuse my French. Someone was in here at some point and really, really didn't know what they were doing. Started monkeying with shit. They shouldn't have been monkeying with. Gotta get it through. It's very important that this is. There we go. I think. Come on, get in there. 
There we go. So I got a few threads through. Is it enough to grab? Not enough. Just there we go. I think it's enough to to grab the uh, grab some threads on the knot. Then I can just tighten it down. All right. Hopefully you guys don't have that much trouble with that knot. And that, that's all it is, is a knot and a bolt. It gave me a lot of trouble in the end of the job. That sucked. All right, so that's the end of the job. You know, I'll put the wheels on, torque it to spec. 80 foot pounds of torque is what I'm doing. Um, that's it. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't one of my best. Um, but that's how you replace the ZV shaft on a 2004 Taurus. Hopefully there's some light in there. You're going to tend to, I don't know. You guys can kind of see it, I'm trying to show it. ZV shaft. But anyways, you know, questions or comments, put them in the comment section. You know, guys, I always try to get to them. Uh, clean your tools. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.